Alright, this is a women's mixed martial art open weight, five minutes per round, and we have three rounds scheduled to go down. Do you think this one is actually going to go three rounds? I don't know. I, I think this first round is going to pretty much sum it all up, to be honest with you. And we were with Gabby last night in the arcade as she was winning uh, all the uh, stuffed animals, don't forget. So she's been running pretty good. Uh, neither you or I, the amount of money we spent, couldn't win anything. She walked out with two <laughs> bagfuls of massive toys. That's true. She Something did. to learn, my friend. It's unbelievable. She's a skill crane master. Here we go. It is Destiny Yarbrough taking the center of the ring. Oh, nice jab. Obviously, be a challenge for Destiny to get on the inside and get past that long reach of Gabby Garcia. Yeah, Destiny's really got to keep her hands up here. I think she was trying to keep her distance a little bit too much. She's definitely at a reach advantage. I think Gabby caught her a little bit with that right knee, and uh, Destiny gave her a little bit of a smile. Oh! Overhand right to a takedown attempt. We'll see how Destiny's going to work here from the ropes. This is actually Destiny's benefit, getting in on the inside. She needs to keep this pressure up on uh, Gabby. Being at the end of those punches is not where she wants to be. Well, the natural thought here is A, yes, right there, the overhand right, but Correct. Destiny does have to get in and get out. I don't think she wants to take down a 10-time world Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion. No, but if she, once she gets in on the inside, she needs to land some shots. We saw Gabby with a good straight right right there. Um, I think Destiny's getting a little bit of gun shy. She's got to keep up her defense and keep that head movement up. Absolutely. She's oh, keeping that there's there's a nice shot right. there. I, I'm really impressed with Gabby right now. She's uh, staying relaxed. She's picking her shots. Um, this is a very different woman than we saw in her fight back in January. Oh, again, if Destiny's going to use those leg kicks, she has to introduce it in with a jab or follow up with a, with a punch afterwards. And I think it's also extremely important not nice. to stay stagnant, stay in that position when you do launch a kick because it's very dangerous versus Gabby. Because if Gabby wants this fight down to the ground, uh, Destiny's going to be in some big trouble. Well, we'll see. We haven't seen Gabby even try for a takedown yet. She looks to be really be just working her stand up. Destiny's the one that we've seen now. This is her second takedown attempt. Yeah, nice head and arm from Gabby. Dragged her down. Now back control. Working some ground and pound here. Looking for the TKO here. Probably setting up some sort of choke if she can get it. Knees oh, are coming. Man, yeah, knees to the head. Something we don't see in the States very often. Yeah, and Gabby is just absolutely mauling her at this point. It's going to be gonna be tough for Destiny. We don't know how much ground or jiu-jitsu experience she's had. Um, she's doing a good job of defending, though, right here. But we've got to, she's got to get some motion and get up and get out of here. Yeah, she, I mean, she's right oh. now Gabby's mauling and brawling, yeah. putting her on her back yeah. right now. Now, that kind of looked like a headbutt to me. Did that look like there? And, or maybe an unintentional one at that from Gabby when they rolled over? Yeah, here's oh. Gabby going into full mount. Nice knee on the belly. She's got a knee on the belly, pushing her down. Back to side control here. I, you know, I'm just not seeing much movement from uh, Destiny at this point. I don't know. She's not working towards guard. Americano. She's got the Americano there. Now she yeah. needs to full mount, use it yeah. to transition. I now she's going for the finish here. Yeah. And she gets the pop. <laughs> Very dominant performance. Very Unbelievable dominant. performance there by Gabby Garcia. We knew that if this fight hit the ground, Destiny Yarbrough would be in trouble. Gabby Garcia does get it down to the ground, works some ground and pound. Was looking for that TKO finish, but once that thing, once she was able to put her on her back, you said, knee on belly, went for the mouth, submission. No, it was actually, Gabby looked really, really good this fight, a lot more comfortable on her feet. Uh, Destiny was obviously the one initiating the takedowns. Uh, kind of got inside on her that one point. Gabby took advantage, got her in the head and arm, shook her down, went side control in the back, dominated, took her to her back, and I mean, that was the end of it. Here's the replay right here. Here's some uh, how, how basically Gabby Garcia did set up the finish versus Destiny Yarbrough. Yeah, and here you just see Gabby is just absolutely in control. Destiny's not really able to do much from here. Um, getting the Americana, cranking it. Uh, Destiny did do a good job of trying to get out of it. At that point, Gabby went ahead and took full mount. 
didn't lose the didn't lose the submission, and here we have the finish. Just a dominating performance by the Brazilian against the American. The moment this fight hit the mat, there great positioning. She got high there. Uh, she basically used that the setup there to easily get into mount because obviously Destiny wasn't able to put any sort of underhook there to prevent any sort of motion from Gabby Garcia. And as we saw there. Gabby Garcia, you're not the only superstar here, by the way. Vanderlei Silva was there. Congratulations. Yeah, you see Van Vanderlei in the corner. Oh, here's Gabby. Arigato, Vanderlei. <laughs> Arigato, team. Arigato, Sakakibara-san, Takara-san. Rising, Jerry, and... Jerry, but, Mira-san. But <laughs> this victory is for my family. <laughs> My family is not here today. It's for you, Dad. Quando você me falou que eu pensei em desistir muitas vezes. Você me lembrou de quando a gente era criança e que você teve que ser caminhoneiro para nos sustentar. お父さんが私がですね、あの子供の頃にえあの運転時あのトラックの運転手をして私を支えてくれると言ってくれました。いえ、sabendo え、私が遠くに離れた時にお父さんは泣いた何度も泣いたと言っていました。でもあの、私は私もですね、あの、本当にですね、泣かずにあの泣いて頑張りました。本当に愛してます、お父さんありがとうございます。はい、見てクイー